Hello Himo friends and welcome to this new video. Today I will touch an interesting while controversial topic which is historical shoes versus modern shoes. But first of all I want to remember you that at 5000 subs I will start the first giveaway of the channel. So if you want to participate and help me reaching that goal you may simply drop a sub. I will really appreciate it. Remember also that if you want to receive a notification every time my new videos are up you should click the bell button too, which is close to the subscribe button. That said, let's jump deep into this weird topic. So today I will do a number of little experiments to understand if there is difference in the quality of my footwork when I wear historical shoes compared to my standard Hima footwear, which is basically a pair of flat sporty sneakers. In this experiment I will try to observe the difference in my performance on a number of different movements, namely half steps with a side stance, half steps with a front stance, full steps, a specific action, I will choose one of my most dynamic actions for this purpose, feint and thrust on the inside and the thrust on the outside while changing the line, and in the end the best version of the modern lunge which I can perform. I will always try to do it at full extension, trying to end it with the back foot touching the ground on its side. I will repeat the experiment on three different surfaces, namely a dirt road, a grassy lawn and a stone paveled road. So I know for sure that there is difference, simply because the relation between different materials have different attrition coefficient. When the attrition with the ground is different while executing the same action, we will end up obtaining different results while using the same amount of energy. So let's start with the dirt road. You will see now all the different movements I named before executed first with my modern footwear and then with my historical shoes. So generally speaking I found myself moving almost in the same way with both the historical and the modern shoes on this kind of surface, while executing my half steps both with the side stance and with the front one and while executing my full steps. In these three situations I was feeling quite comfortable doing my movements. The grip on the ground was almost the same and the changing direction was not hard at all. When I started to work out my feint and attack action, which involves huge dynamic movements, I felt slightly lesser comfortable with my historical footwear. But instantly I found myself changing my stance height almost automatically to a more upright position and this was helping me a lot in performing the action. When I started executing my lunges I felt more difference than before. Again it was not a huge difference, but with historical shoes I wasn't able to move properly without sliding forward or backward, either with my front or back foot. This was simply because of the deep stances I was trying to achieve and because of this of the huge forces that I was developing forward and backward. With lesser grip on the ground the same movement was slightly harder. And now on the grass. Moving on the grass was quite a surprise. If you watch my channel constantly you know that my favorite training ground is out in the countryside. I fence on grass surfaces all the time. So when I was moving with basically every kind of movement with my modern shoes I felt quite comfortable. Deep lunges were harder than before simply because I had lesser grip with the ground, but in general with modern shoes everything was fine or almost perfect. When I was wearing my historical shoes instead every movement was a pain, changing direction in fast ways was really hard, because I was sliding around most of the times. The half step with the side stance was slightly easier, and I was able both to move faster and to keep a deeper stance. But the other movements were harder, 
and because of this I had to compensate, and uh, so I had to stay in a slightly more upright position. The lunges with historical shoes were a pain. The problem here was launching myself forward by pushing with the back foot, which was extremely hard. I ended up executing small, weird and unbalanced lunges all the time. On the powered stone surface, moving with the sneakers was easier than on the grass, but the difference was not huge as uh, I am quite used to fence on the grass, as I said. The only movement which was slightly harder was the lunge, because uh, I was sliding a bit with my back foot, and in fact, this was the worst surface in terms of lunging with my modern footwear. While wearing my historical footwear, the half step with the side stance was slightly worse than the side step with the front stance. The full step was quite okay, save for a few extreme movements and my feint and attack was still ok. In fact, here on the stone surface, starting my action was quite easy. The problem was sometimes landing in a precise way. But compared to the grass, everything was extremely easier, with the only exception of the lunge. Lunging deeply with historical shoes we have seen is sometimes slightly harder, sometimes harder than with modern shoes, but here on the stone it was terrible. I wasn't able to start my action, I wasn't able to land safely, everything was a mess. So, in the end of this little experiment, my conclusions are Is there any difference in fencing footwork with and without historical shoes? Yes. Is the difference relevant? Well, sometimes yes, sometimes not. Can this afflict the way in which you approach the fight? Yes. Can this afflict the way in which you are training your actions? It depends, from your choices mainly. If you want or you need to wear historical shoes for motivations, you need to train and move accordingly to the level of grip these shoes are giving you. In one of the future videos I will try to have sparring on uh, all these different surfaces with uh, and without my historical shoes and we will see if there is difference in this situation. So guys, I hope you have found this video interesting, remember, if you want to support me you may join my Patreon community, a huge amount of exclusive content awaits you as a reward. Check the link in the video description. Thanks for watching guys and uh, as always, see you next time.